Hello friends, myself Professor Vinod Pillai, welcome back. Welcome to C Programming Language. I hope so you have seen my part 1 session in which I have explained you the basics of C languages where we have seen how to create a simple programs, what is need of variables, the operators and what's the conditional statements or the control statements, how to use the if statements are all. In the part 2 of my sessions, we will be seeing about some of the important concepts called loops. In this session, we will be only seeing the part loops, what are the types of loops, need of loops, what is the importance of break, continue, exit, and the go-to statements, and the types of go-to statements. Let's start it with a straight away with a program. Okay, I'll simply create a program, and I'll show you why we need the loops. Okay, let's first create a simple program. Hello world, whether it's working or not, we'll check it out and then we'll simply shift it to loops okay so I've simply created hello world the same one what I have shown you in our previous programs I'll save it with the file name as prog.c saved it it's been saved I'll open my terminal and try to compile it and check it out I'll go to desktop cd c programs unless I can see my program there it is. Okay, let's compile it. C C P R G C minus O P dot out. It's been compiled. It runs fine. Now comes the lead of loop. Okay, what's exactly the loop is? Loop is we use if we want to execute some particular set of statements continuously in one particular location. Okay, instead of repeating the statements again and again we can do that statements with the help of loop just writing once that means suppose a best example I can show is if I want to print hello world five times exactly at the same locations then instead of writing printf printf five times I can do I can specify it to do the same task repeatedly five times and only one time I have to write the code that's the importance of loop it's loop says the means the same what it says that is to looping in particular location same task okay there are three types of loops for loop while loop do while loop generally speaking do while loop is being most rarely being used because of its property or the way it behaves the most of the time we use the for loop and while loop let's see what's the syntax and how it goes for now first and foremost loop has three parts that is initialization condition and incrementation each and every loop has these three parts whether it's a file loop or loop or do by loop okay so what I have specified is I've initialized i as 0 I want i to be rotated till i less than 5 and I want to increment i by i plus plus yes it is quite possible that I can start i by 1 and I can increment it I can put a condition i less than six or something it is better practice always to start a loop by zero because it helps us in array we'll see how in array it will be helping us I'll compile it I've written just see that I've written hello world only once now let's see how it, many times it get printed I compile it it compiles no error and just see that I've got five hello worlds okay that's the advantage of loops now how can I do the same task in one loop same can be possible only thing is I can change it to while it is also having same parts I initialize it but I don't initialize inside the while loop in the while I just specify the condition and the incrementation from here it goes to the end that's it okay I save it okay just to make sure some changes are there I just put while save it I compile it it works fine and just see that I got the output that's so simple it's that now always remember generally people used to forget this one so make sure that you put I++ instead of that if you forget that thing it will go into an infinite loop I don't expect any program would like to do that unless and until he intentionally want to do that that's something happens when like unless and until the user enters some value you want that particular loop to continue or something then that case we used to do that infinite loop always remember then one more thing there is a quite a tricky one some people used to ask this in interviews for basically for students what will happen the output of this if I put something like this that's 
a semicolon over here always remember a loop will never have a semicolon then it will not show an error but it will give a hello world or the whatever the output only once instead of that stop printing five times because the loop will be rotating itself only so the output will be only once only so always remember there will be no for semicolon then it will not show an error let's show I'll just show you up compile it again no error and just see that it just printed once even though my, I'm having a loop of 10 times that's the thing never have a semicolon at the end of the loops okay okay you can do if you want to go for an infinite while loop you can put while as one that goes for an infinite loop and the same the case with for loop also if you put semicolon semicolon without any increments this also goes into infinite loop loop okay so that's not our topic right now let's go into the next type of loop that's do while loop okay that's i is been initialized to i is equal to zero do while i less than five and a semicolon over here and i plus plus that's as simple as that okay here is the initialization part, here is the condition and here is the incrementation ok let's continue that, compile it and I run it, I get the hello world for 5 times, that works fine so what's the difference between it, I'll show you, you'll get an idea i is been 10, now the condition says i should be less than 5 so its condition is wrong, but just see that I'll compile it, I'll still get a hello world what has happened is like the because do while loop is an exit control loop that means it checks the condition when you exit the loop okay so anyhow even the condition is wrong or right the loop will be rotated at least once so that don't happen that does not happen with for loop and while loop because they are entry control loop because because entering the loop it will check the conditions so, so that does not happen because it is being designed like that only that do while loop should execute at least once so that's all the three major types of loops we understand that why we need the loops and what are the three major types of the loops it depends upon the situation which we want to have it do while loop is a straight way you want the loop to be executed at least once you require it to be the with help of two while loop while loop and for loop can be interchanged it generally happens then when the number of time the execution is not fixed we generally prefer that while loop and people always prefer if the size the number of times the loop is to be rotated is fixed it is always people prefer to go for for loop it's up to the choice of users now let's get into the another parts that's break and continue what happens to break and continue that is helpful for the loops only that's how let's convert into for loop I have some conditions like that I want the loop to be broken if suppose some condition happens I want user to enter some value I have created another variable I okay I have a variable I do a printf and scanf if I put inside it it will different number of time so I put a printf enter the value I'm asking user a value scanf percentage d m person well okay so user enter some value okay now if suppose the user entered value okay some condition like if val equal to equal to 5 okay and i is equal to equal to 5 okay if the user has entered the 5 and i is also 5 then i don't want then it to continue that means then i don't want the hello world to be printed okay else in that all cases I want hello world to be printed something like that that is basically I want to show you that that I want the loop to be broken and middle only in that case I want to use the break okay so break is basically is breaking the loop in between only with the help of break I can do that okay now let's try to compare it and let's try to do that I want to show you two things that's from operator things and that's it's asking me the value I'm entering the 5 intentionally so that I can break the loop L. okay so 5 times it's been printed and then it's not printed let's again run it and this time I'm entering a value as 6 okay so it didn't match it so it prints the 10 times so that it checks it now here I've shown you two things that is the relational one okay double equal to one operator also and a conditional one at and percentage and use something like if this is true and this is also true then only this will be executed if I want to use or then have to use double pipe signs that's one that's one of the operators we have seen in the earlier one I've said like that that it will come in meanwhile in the always in the future also so that's we have seen it so break basically help us to break the loop in between only 
let's not happens let's try what happens when continue continue will skip the loop that's for the five then other all statements below the continue that's the still this much till this course will be skipped it will increment it it will go back to i i will be incremented once again that's it let's see that so compile it let's run it so ask me five so i have five and just if you count it it's not ten it's one two three four five six seven eight and nine it's only nine because one time when it's got the condition right it skips the loop okay that's the use of continue okay exit is basically used to exit the program that we'll see when we're using finite loop it's just for the idea purpose i've kept that exit is used to exit the program only okay there is two purpose that's exit zero and exit one exit zero is successful completion exit one is if some point interruption has happened we generally use it we'll i'll show you in the linear programs and you'll understand that let's get into the go to statements now what is the go to statements there are two types of go to's are there it is one of the good features was there in previous languages it was there in c also but it is being avoided and people it is being told to programmers to avoid it because in near future programming languages you will never find java and all you don't find the such a such a statements so what go to does is like go to help us to jump from one statement to another that means it will literally help us to skip some number of statements we would like to jump for there are two types of go to's are available that's forward jump and backward jump if suppose i'm going from forward jump it's some block something like this way okay i've written some hello world or something i can say go to x y z and i can simply say here and XYZ and printf done okay I try to compile it it's done and if you see it I have entered a value as 5 but it didn't happen so what has happened is it simply jumped from here skipped all these statements and it directly jumps into the statements why it has happened because I've used go to and that too I'm jumping forward so it is ha it is being called as forward jump okay now if I did something like this way XYZ and I put this at the end okay so this becomes a backward jump because I'm jumping from here to here so that I this way I'm going backwards so it is not it is called backward jump okay so that's the use of forward and backward that's with the help of forward we can jump in forward way we'll skip some of the codes in backward jump we go back and we execute the same code again always remember when you use backward jump use condition else it will go into an infinite loop again because you'll continue you again jump back again jump back it will not get into out of the loop okay so you are virtually creating a loop with the help of go to statement also that's all about we have to learn in this part two session we have seen what's the need of loop different types of loops what is the use of break what is the use of continue i'll show you how to use card exit and i'll use an infinite loop in near future programs and all what's the need of go to statements types of go to statements I'm a personal suggestions try to avoid go to statements as much as possible because in big programs it creates confusions to the programmers okay that's all for today's session thank you